back here in the Bender Kitchen getting a little taste of fall here. We're excited to be joined by Stephen Clemente, owner and founder of Extra Virgin Olive Oil Store and also Sticky Situations in Old Mystic Village. Brian, Sarah, great to see you guys. Great to see you. Um, so I thought today we would do a little bit something different. Mm -hmm. Balance fall flavors with something sweet, so a little savoriness and a little sweetness combined. Okay. 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 All right, so Ryan, I need your help. Yes. So we got some butternut squash, okay. and um, on top of that, it's just dusted with rosemary. Into the bowl it goes. Right here? Yeah. Boom. Now, one Easy. of the things is we're going to roast this, so we need a high-temperature cooking oil. We're going to use our toasted walnut grapeseed oil. Grab that right there. And I, I didn't even know there was such thing. There's high-temperature? High-temperature cooking. So anytime wow. we're going to be in the roasting pan, we want something that's really stable. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. But we want a little hint of fall. So how about some apple cider? Vinegar, vinegar with a little bit of cinnamon in there. Which is good if you have a cold too, right? Yeah, so we call that apple pie, and um, it's kind of a fan favorite. That's that kind good? of, yeah, that's perfect. Good. Add a little bit more of the Madagascar cinnamon just to give it a little bit more zest. And then crack some salt and crack some pepper in there, and we'll be this almost. This is quite the recipe, man. Yeah, this is really good. This is it smells good yeah. too. And and it's easy. It's yeah. easy, and it's it's something that pretty much everyone can do. But here's the secret. More salt. Uh, is nah, no more salt. Um, but how about maple syrup? Adding yeah. a little touch yeah. of Yeah, so we, we really want that to kind of shine through. So swirl that around, and that is looking perfect. All right, so I'm going to mix this up real quick. Okay. And is this a side dish or an app? Well, you can or use both. it a couple of different ways. I mean, for those of you who are already starting to think about Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, this might be something you might want to put on the table. Okay. But you can definitely do this at a dinner party as an app. That's and then just onto your baking sheet, this is going to go, okay? How long do you bake for? What's so 35 minutes um, at about 400. Okay. All right, so you want to pop that in there for me? That'd sure. be great. Awesome. Tell so once that goes in, tell now, us about your place in Old Mystic Village yeah, as we do this. Yeah, so um, we've been there for eight years. Yep. We make our own particular products, okay? So we construct the oils and the vinegars from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, my background is in food chemistry, so we That's have great. a kind of a unique kind of approach to kind of how we go about this. He's a yeah. smart fella. He but is. we need your help, Sarah, to yep. make the dip. Okay. So we're gonna, everybody's had tzatziki before. Yep. So it's a cucumber and yogurt based mm -hmm. dip. We're gonna do a riff on that. This it's like is a Mediterranean. Yeah, so, yeah. Right? So this is cucumber with some dill and some garlic mm -hmm. into the bowl it into goes. Into the bowl, okay. Yep. It smells really good. All right, and then just really good Greek yogurt. You know, whatever brand you like to use. Or that if you, into? In, in there it goes. Okay. Okay, now the same thing that Ryan did, we want to balance out some sweetness and some savoriness. But yep. remember what Ryan was doing? He was doing some high temperature cooking. So we were using a grapeseed oil. You're doing some low temperature cooking. So we need olive oil. Okay. In this particular case, it's going to be our lemon garlic olive oil. Okay. Yeah, that's ready to rock and roll. Looks Just good. put that in there. Yeah, that's perfect. We, we that just enough? don't deal with this nice yeah, that, and high end of good. olive oil. That's, that's good. Good. We're like, All right, great. now, the secret to the whole dish is Ooh. this vinegar. Okay. Um, it is tarragon, okay? So tarragon is an herb that most people forget about, but that's going to really jazz this up and balance out the sweetness of the butternut squash. Is that this the right is, amount? That's perfect. That's okay. ready to grow. A little splash. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper, okay. and we're ready to go. That's perfect. Okay, so now we're going to blend that up. Okay. And while you guys are doing that, make sure you guys... Uh, Check out Stephen at uh, Old Mystic Village. Of course, you have sticky situations. You guys sell honey there. It's we all, do. We it's so we, cool. Yeah. So, um, and maybe you could tell a little bit about your favorite honey. But yes, we we do mango. have mango honey. Mango honey. So we do have about five and a half million honeybees, and we do raise our wow. own honey. Um, so if you guys want to check Ooh. that out, that's a, yeah. are we allowed to sample? Yeah. But here you go. This is the final dish. So roasted butternut squash yeah, so and our toasted walnut oh grapeseed oil. With a mm. twist on tzatziki, we added some tarragon vinegar. So for Thanksgiving, your next dinner party, whatever that may that be, is so good. something really, really easy, clean and simple. Tastes, I hope you guys love the fall flavors. Tastes like a potato almost. Yeah, so that's kind of the idea. Yeah. People look at it and they're like, "You made hash browns," right, and we're like, no. "No, not really." Right. Um, so Beautiful it's kind thing. of something playful for them and something that I think a lot of people will use this time of year. All right. And for kids, super healthy. Well, this was great, and we have to keep snacking. So stay with us. We'll be right back on CT Style. So delicious.